Hello everyone, I'm not officially back yet, but I need to upload some outstanding videos. I will be making some changes to my channel soon. When I'm officially back, you will know. Enjoy. Love ya. Alright, so today bringing you a review on a wig from Love Wind Hair. Here are the extras, the wig cap, the headband, shower cap, and the edge brush as well as some lashes. And here is elastic band for the edges. So this is the information on the wig that I received. So if you need to, feel free to pause. All right, now we're taking a closer look at the wig. So as you can see here, it's a silky straight wig. Here is that elastic at the back to make it um, glueless. There's some silicone there to keep it from slipping on your neck. And there is the 13 by four lace. I will be using some tinted lace spray for the lace. And here I am spraying the lace to tint it closer to my skin. And there's a closer look at the kinky edges. So, on first look, first impression, I feel like the edges are a little bit too kinky for the straight hair, but let's take a look and see uh, as we go through the video. So here's a closer look of the edges here um, with the wig on. And then just putting a comb under there so that you can see it is glueless. Now maybe my head is a little too small, but you can see the edges of the lace there um, is not flat. But yeah, there's a better look at the wig. So I'm going to use some foam. I tried using, or mousse rather, and this one wasn't working at all, liquidy. Yeah, so this was the only other mousse I had. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to lay down the kinky edges a little bit to blend in more with the rest of the wig. So here, just brushing them down a little bit and then trying to get it down flat. Now in all my videos, I always gotta show you the lippy. So the lippy I'm wearing today is MAC in the color Rebel. It didn't wanna focus there, but it's Rebel. All right, back to the wig now. So just taking off that band and this is what the hair looks like. So now I'm trying to smooth it out a little bit so that it can look a little more natural. I don't like that line up there. Yeah, just not really liking the way it looks, but here we go with the comb again, just to show you that it is glueless. Now here I am going to show you the scalp so you can see what the scalp looks like. And then I'm not overly happy with the way it looks I tried. So here I am just trying to mess around with the hair a little bit, try to make it look better. Um, you know, this is what we go, well I don't know if we, but for me, um, it's not always perfect. These videos are not always perfect. The hair is not always gonna come out perfect. So I guess this will be kind of a video to show you when it doesn't really work out. So through the video, I'm actually going to try and work with these baby hairs. In all honesty, I feel like they're just too kinky for the straight hair. So anyway, here we go again with the mousse. <laughs> I'm really trying here, guys. Try to make this work. So I'm just trying to now comb the baby hairs into the rest of the hair. Yeah, so just kind of watch and see what I do. Now I didn't want to see that part there that's flapping up. So clearly for me, it's not 100% glueless. I would use some got to be or some lace glue to get those um, you know, parts to lay down, but then it's not glueless at that point if you're putting glue. It's 222. <laughs> All right, so it's been 20 minutes. Let's try this again. <laughs> All right. This is how it's looking. Um, yeah, clearly I need more work. I'll be honest with you. I think that the edges are too kinky for this texture. This is a very silky texture. I actually have requested a curly 
um, unit or like a kinky straight. This is definitely not kinky straight. This is a, like a silky straight. The density is very light. This is like all the hair. All right, so I am making another attempt. And yes, I'm using a filter in this segment because I just could not be bothered to put on makeup again. So this time I am um, hot combing the edges to make them straighter to fit with the wig. Now this kind of defeats the purpose because then what's the point of having the edges kinky? I don't know, maybe it's just me. But anyway, even with the hot combing, the edges are still too kinky compared to the rest of the hair, but I did my best. I worked with it and did what I could. Here was the final result. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.